Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Today I wanted to review the Bodum Pavina double walled espresso cups. I had a viewer request that when I'm brewing my Grand Cru capsules in my Breville Creatista Plus that I use a clear glass so that everyone can check out the crema. I thought that was a fantastic idea and thought it was kind of silly that I was not already doing that especially since I actually had shot glasses um, already. These aren't really what I ever used to drink out of. I just uh, brewed shots in these and then I'd pour it into my um, uh, latte cup. But regardless, I've got the Pavina. I've also done a review of the Nespresso View Collection. If you haven't checked out that video, be sure to do so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dig into the Bodum Pavina double walled espresso cups and see what they're all about. Now I've had Bodum before, they're very fragile, and I've broken one of my Bodum cups. It wasn't an espresso cup, it was a little bit bigger. Uh, and I've read a lot of uh, folks online say the exact same thing, that they've had a lot of theirs uh, break. So definitely you've got to be a little cautious. Uh, they're a little fragile. Little manual, double wall glass collection, and they've got quite a lot to choose from. They have the Pavina collection. They have a canteen collection. I've got several, some I can't pronounce. Anyway. So their little pamphlet, use and care. So one thing to note is that on the bottom of all of the uh, Bodum glassware, they have a silicone stopper that has a pinhole. And the purpose of that is to allow some of the pressure buildup based on the temperature, uh, differences between the external and internal temperatures of the glass to be released, that pressure to be released. So that's what they're illustrating here. You definitely want to wash these by hand. Don't put them in the dishwasher because water could, from the dishwasher, enter between the double wall and then you'll have continual moisture in between your double wall. Not to mention that you could risk breaking the glasses in the dishwasher. Um, the manual does say that these are all mouth blown and therefore each might have slight differences in height and thickness. Also, avoid the use of automatic ice dispensers. Again, just the sheer force of the ice being dispensed uh, could very well break the, um, the thin glass. Again, since they're hand-blown, the glass in some areas could be thicker and thinner in others. So, looks like neither are damaged. That's great. These are great little handheld espresso cups. They feel really good in the hand. And I think they hold uh, over an ounce. I'll test an espresso grand cru. A uh, little sticker here says mouth blown. Here's your silicone stopper on the bottom. Design registered. Okay. These are, it's registered in Switzerland. Very cool. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and brew an Espresso Grand Cru. I'm going to open the second one here. Looks good. Nothing's cracked or broken. Get our little Creatista Plus. And I'm going to go ahead and brew some hot water through to go ahead and clean the spout. So you're going to see some uh, yellowish brown water come out. And that does double duty. It heats the glass, but also cleans any residual coffee from the spout. So we'll go ahead and dump that. 
Now, if you haven't seen my review, I have purchased the Nespresso Selection Vintage 2014 capsules. And it's cool. They're uh, labeling on here with the shape of the Nespresso capsule. Kind of looks like a little wine cork. So to me, this whole vintage is a play on kind of wines and um, uh, different alcohols, uh, like uh, different stoppers, uh, bourbon or whiskey. Um, so very cool. If you haven't seen my review, check it out. Um, I would not necessarily recommend buying these. I mean, I'll, I'll be flat out. I wouldn't buy them again. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend buying them again. The whole vintage coffee, uh, I don't really get. So check out that review. But let's go ahead and see what the crema looks like on this. Now I'm going to brew this as an espresso shot. And when I opened, if you saw some extra water came out, when I opened this, ow, uh, some extra water came out. I thought by opening it again, I uh, uh, dispensed it, uh, but it's still in there. All right, so let's go ahead and dump that extra residual water and brew that as an espresso shot. Let me adjust my camera a little bit so you guys can see. And let's get right up in there and see what our crema looks like on the Espresso Selection Vintage 2014. So it looks pretty good. This is a fairly medium body coffee. Crema's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste test again. I kind of smell some cereal in this this time. I've never really understood the whole cereal note. You definitely get a little acidic bite at first. It's not bad. It's not outstanding. It's decent. Again, be sure to check out that link. And if you have any questions about the Bodum Pavina Double Walled Espresso, glasses go ahead and leave a comment below if you guys like these reviews thumbs up comment share subscribe let me know how i'm doing and i'll see you soon